Hello Tuesday Twitch people, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, of course, welcome back. Wolfpack, how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, feet photos, ahoy my indeed my guy. V, what's up? Super early today? Yes, we're super early today. I made sure to let everybody know on both Twitch and Discord. Ergo, if it's a surprise, my guy, you gotta get on that. Hmm. Okay. Um, a few days ago, I was in TMTC's one, uh, TMTC One's channel, Matt, for those who don't know, I'll throw up a little bit of a how's she going for Matt and my other friends. Um, and uh, I was having a hell of a time with Torpedo Solutions, a really rough go. So my intent this evening is to try to get this identification thing down to a little bit not terrible is what I'm trying to go for there. I only got one hit out of like seven torpedoes. It was ridiculous. Early wolf gets tanked. I mean, maybe. That would be cool. There are an awful lot of tankers in this game. Unfortunately, they don't they don't have fireworks aboard like in U-Boat, but give it time. I'm sure things will improve. I'm sure things will improve. It's just a thing. Okay, let's go ahead and hop in here. Um, I'm going to make a super secret lobby that nobody can see. No one shall be able to see it but me. Let's go ahead and make some calmer seas, because I am just learning. We'll go 1.5, maybe. We'll enable bots and make it a quick encounter. Uh, we're going to go with a smaller-ish convoy, because, again, uh, it's more about the learning than it is about the uh, defeating kind of concept. Okay. Now, I noticed that Discord is being a little bit of a bugger and not doing its hello, I'm streaming thing, so I'm going to do it for it. Unfortunate. <clears throat> Unfortunate. But, uh, you know, sometimes you got to take care of your own housekeeping. Sometimes you have to go ahead and dial in. Dial on down. Know the job of the person below you. Know the job of the person above. And carry on. There we go. And that'll let everybody know that a thing is happening. <clears throat> By a thing, I mean that, you know, I'm streaming. Okay, let's jump into the gamification right now. Close ca Thank you, closed captioning. Unf see, they took away the ability for it to start automatically. Um, I'm not sure why in some update or another. Uh, <clears throat> did my game just crash? Okay. Um, apparently the game just crashed. Neat. So we're back to doing that again now. Wicked. You don't have to use it, my guy. It's all good. Gustav, what's going on, my guy? How you been? I'm just waiting for the game to boot back up, because for some reason it decided to die. So there's the thing. I used to run into this problem a lot, actually. Um, Oh, about six months ago, something to that effect, where if I had the game running before the stream started, it was almost guaranteed to crash every single time, and I really don't know why. Boxes, what's going on, my guy? How you been? Haven't seen that name in a long time. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's try this again then, and uh, we'll see if we can actually make it work this time. How about that? So let's dial this down a little. Let's go ahead and click this guy, this guy, this guy. All right, that should do it. That should conceivably do the do. We're going to find out. Continue, Capitan. All right. Um, I'm going to make... I'm gonna make all my uh, all my current torpedoes magnetic, uh, just just to try some stuff out. You know, we're learning, we're learning, little bit at a time, that kind of thing. All right, here we are back in the North Sea. Let's get on up and have ourselves a wee little look around, figure out what might be on the go out here in the wild blue. Up, 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 up. There we go. Have a quick scan with our eyeballs. Eyeballs are a little lacking in uh, distance and such. I'm not seeing anything on my own. Let's use the old Uzo and see what she can tell us. Got to remember to do this slowly. It scans extraordinarily quickly. We could be quite some ways away from the convoy, but we could be right up close and personal as well. So we're doing our best to figure out where we might need to uh, travel to. There we go. They're heading away. <clears throat> Don't trade school. Dream job, my guy. That's fantastic. That's I'm really glad to hear that. Okay, we have two times targets. 
Uh, they're heading away from us, and we're going to be quite visible. Um, okay, let's go ahead and give the order to... Um, dive the boat to periscope depth, please. One of these is periscope depth. That's the one there. All right, we're diving to 12 meters. Um, I want to go ahead and increase to half speed. And we're going to change our course to... Let's see if I can figure out where we are here. Um, let's change it to uh, 100. Okay, coming about to 100. Perfect. All right, we're going to spin this thing around. We're going to get down below. Uh, whoops. Okay. I forgot about that part. Uh, the fact that that happens instantaneously. So we're going to... We're going to try that again. Um, <laughs> I sort of just believed I was on the uh, periscope there for a second. That's okay. That didn't happen. You guys didn't see that. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. What happened? I gave the order to dive while I was still on the deck. Uh, that's a little bit of a problem, uh, you know, with the whole needing to breathe air uh, issue. Now, since we had to restart, we don't have any... <clears throat> No way of knowing where these ships might be this time. Luckily, they do um, spawn in different places and stuff. It would get quite boring, I think, if you always... There we go. If you always had it down. I see two times. Uh, if we change course to 060, I'd be very pleased. So let's go ahead and this time we're inside the boat. So let's dive to Periscope. And change course to 060. 060, please. Roughly. And we're going to need all that to happen. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So the idea of, the, of what I'm trying to do here is get my recognition down a little bit better. Now, we're just not going to talk about it anymore. It's fine. I want to get my recognition down because that has been... Oh, that hasn't been fun for me, honestly. It's been uh, really difficult for me to figure out. Mostly because, okay, if you've got somebody um, else on the boat who can have the recognition manual open and you just call out what you see, it's way easier than lifting the book up, putting the book down, lifting the book up. Do you know what I mean? Because I have this thing where I, I can't remember what I just said when I, I'm presented with a new screen, you know what I mean? Playing the sub game I've never looked at. Yes, indeed, there, Tell. I'm playing a sub game, apparently, that you have you have never, ever looked at. And that's okay. Um, I need a little bit of sound here. It's a little, little quiet. It's a little quiet. Turn up the sound a bit. There we go. That'll do. Um, go, go, go away. Go away. Okay. They went away. We fixed it. All right. So now we're heading roughly towards these ships, which is good. Sort of. Zero, six, five. Um, so we're going to be coming around to zero, six, zero. That should work out perfectly, actually. All right, let's start trying to figure out what these things are. So I see a mast, king post, funnel mast. Mast, king post, funnel mast. That's what I see. So mast, king post, funnel, mast. That's what I see so far. So we have a lot to choose from. Now, what else do I see? Um, the engine is amidships. Okay. Engine is amidships. Good. That doesn't really change anything. And I think it's a single um, um, superstructure. With all the elements needing to be done, I haven't imagined doing it all solo. I mean, it's possible. It's not as enjoyable, but it is possible to do. Okay. Um, maybe the superstructure is technically split. Because this doesn't quite look like anything I've got here. Not quite. So let's say split... Um, do you know I think we're looking at a Type 16 here? No. See, it's got a radio antenna. Okay, this might be my Huckleberry here. Let's take another look. 
Um, I think it is. Radio antenna king post, and the one at the back has a like a crane or a spar coming off it. So I think that's this guy. We're going to go ahead and say it's him. All right, so that's one ship identified. Let's worry about the second. Um, Jesus, basically the same idea. Um, mast king post, funnel mast, which we already have plugged in. Looks more like a single superstructure, though. Let's go back to search results. Uh, composite. And the forward um, mast is split. I think we might be looking at a Type 2. No, no, hang on. Split, king post, and the one to the rear has got a spar. Split, king post, one to the rear has a spar. It's possible that this is what I'm looking at here. A heavy freighter Type 15. wonder if I can get an idea of the islands. It's got... It looks like it's got three islands. Front, middle, and... Um, <clears throat> front, middle, and rear. Um, front, middle, rear. This could be my Huckleberry right there. Oh, there's V's suggestion. Thank you, V. I'll, uh, I'll keep that under uh, advisement. How about that? Okay, identified ships. So our first ship was the Type 18. She has a mast height of 3.5. So we could go ahead and try to figure out how far away she is. So, if I went with a 35 meter mast, we can get an idea of roughly how long we're going to be waiting before we start shooting. Um, so I've got almost... Just a little over two. So I would say that that ship is probably... Probably a little less than five kilometers away. Five kilometers at zero, six, seven, or ten degrees. Five kilometers at ten degrees. So, let's see if I can figure this out. Um, five kilometers at ten. Zero to this to the boat, please. No, okay. Uh, yeah, it's doing that thing again. Um, I ran into this the last time as well. So we'll use a true course of 65, 65 maybe. 65 out there and say roughly five kilometers. Maybe. Maybe. I just realized there's no point to doing this because I can't check it anyway. So I'll, I'll never know if it's actually correct. Um, drawing a point. There we go. An X will do. Point. Okay. Now let's see what else we can get done here. 7,500. I, I, sorry, but I don't agree. Now our second ship was the, what I believe to be a Type 15. Her mast height is 40. That is a huge mast. 40. 40. Gets me, oh, 4,800, 4,900. So that, that actually makes sense, about 4,900 or so. Um, shoot, I forgot to check. 4,900 at 070. 4,900 at 070. <clears throat> 070, roughly 4,900. Say about now, is this making any sense? I think we're actually on a course more like this. If I look at... If we're on a course of 060, I think we should be on a course of 040, and I think we should go a little faster. Let's go ahead and call for great speed. And set course to 040. <clears throat> and that should put them more or less out in front of me. That's the idea, anywhere. We're finding it. We're trying to figure it out. Okay, swinging around about 10 degrees. The cats are doing horrible, evil cat things. That upset me greatly, but uh, what are you going to do? Okay, six times. So what could be screwing me up with this stuff is... Um, does the... 
So it's got a distance set to six times, but does it matter between six and 1.5? Take it easy there, Lear. Have yourself a good one, my guy. Cats are being cats. That's a thing that they do. It is a terrible thing that they do, but it is a thing that they do. Um, do you know, we're pretty close to an actual uh, firing solution here pretty shortly. So again, that's 3-5. Eh, change this to 3-5. Distance to target is approximately, let's say, 4,200 meters. Distance to this target is, let's say, 36. So we're going to be firing at that guy first. Um, we'll get a little closer before we start worrying about all the other kind of good stuff, though. <clears throat> yeah, I think we did okay with the identification this time around. So let's think now. I'm heading this way. They're about 3,000 kilometers away, give or take. I think I might go ahead and increase speed again, just for a little bit. Whenever you're ready there, game. Help me out. All right. Moving and grooving. I just want to get a little bit closer. Still on a heading of roughly 4-0. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, I feel like they're going fairly quickly, more or less. We're going to be getting a speed off of these guys here momentarily, too. It's not going to be super accurate because, well, they're they're not quite at a 90 to me, obviously, but I think we'll be okay. Current distance to closest target is approximately... Ooh, just shy of... just a little over three kilometers, I think. Yeah, just a little over three kilometers is probably what we're looking like looking at. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill speed here. And once we wind down, we'll take a speed bearing off them. <clears throat> I'm just watching to make sure the uh, the knots actually start coming down here. There is a trick where you can go ahead and throw it into reverse to like cut down your speed faster, but it's a little bit of a, a learning curve with it, right? <clears throat> Once we get down below one knot, we, we should be able to take a decent uh, speed check. Just gotta wait for that to happen. <clears throat> Pardon me. Alright, two knots there. <clears throat> Good time says, is this? That's not a question, my guy. I mean, it technically is, but it's, it's missing a very key element of a question. Know what I'm saying? Alright. Under a knot, and we can probably get a speed check now. So, let's go ahead and get that speed check squared away. Ready on the timer. And, there. Is this a bonus stream, or are you early? You are early. Well, technically, I'm early. Technically, I'm early. I went up early tonight. We had a little spare time, so we're, uh, we're doing the do. We are doing the do, my guy. Yeah, this thing is not going very slowly, I would say. Alright, so 24 seconds. Gotta get my mathematator. 24 seconds. Now, this ship is, um, 124 meters in length, divided by... 24 seconds, multiplied by 1.94. She is motoring. I'm getting a speed of 10 knots. 10 knots. That's pretty crazy. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. 10 knots. So this guy should be doing roughly the same. Let's go ahead and check her. <clears throat> yeah, she going fast. Super fast. Again, it's not a perfect... Um, Speed check though, because they're not at a, not quite at a ninety to me, but I think they're close enough that it shouldn't throw me off all that much. Then again, we'll find out, right? We're gonna find out because we're pretty much in a good firing position right about nowish, to tell you the truth. 
All right, this one's 27 seconds, and it's the other ship. Her length is 138. 138 divided by 27 seconds, multiplied by 1.94, gives me 9.91. So these are going roughly the same speed. Um, I'm going to say just shy of just a hair under 10 for both. That's what I'm going to go with. So, that being said, if I turn this down, this ship is now, oh, say, three K, I'm going to say three K. All right, so let's go ahead and jump off this. All right, speed is right around 10. <clears throat> Range is 3K, as far as I can figure. Um, draft, seven meters, so let's say three. Not gonna bother with the range. Um, we're looking at almost exactly 90 bow left. So that time would be two minutes, 15 seconds. <clears throat> two minutes, 15. Now if I change that to this guy, I get, say, roughly, I don't know, three, roughly three again. So this guy's got to be a little bit further. I've got a bad reading on him. Um, say almost four, more like 3,300, okay, 3,300, now this guy would be almost exactly three, three at a 90 degree, two minutes 15 on that guy, and the farther target would be if I turn this up to there, two minutes, 27. Okay, we're gonna fire at the forward target here. Farthest target, I should say. That target is now more like, I would say almost exactly 90 to me right now. So I'm gonna go with tube one, and let's go ahead and fire it. Uh, it's not firing. What did I forget to plug in? Depth. Ah, this thing. Damn it. Keep forgetting that part. Ugh. <laughs> that, uh, that clicking is crazy. And... There we go. Alright, change distance to closer to three. And angle on bow looks pretty good. Didn't switch tubes. Two. Torpedo away. All right. Two times torpedoes in the water. And we'll see uh, if that worked out okay, to tell you the truth. So I do want to see... We're looking at 3 minutes 32 on the second shot. Okay. I should have started a timer when I fired, but whatever. I'm still learning. That's why we're doing this. Still learning. Okay, we're still on a course of what? Let's go ahead and change course to 270, I think. Change course to... Two seven zero half speed. Good. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm getting a little bit better with the, rec the recognition side of the house, which is pretty much exactly what I wanted. So that's good. That's good. But, um, I am still out to lunch when it comes to figuring out what what the distances are. I should be taking them off the funnels. I should be taking them off the funnels. I probably have a better chance of getting a more accurate reading that way. But, you know me. You know me. <clears throat> All 
Alright. I think it's been roughly, what, a minute? It said roughly three minutes to impact. I very likely missed everything, by the way. It's more than likely what happened. Set speed to 10. Depth was 3. Might be okay. Might be okay. See, without uh, having hit the... Uh, <clears throat> the time... Hey! Hit the closest target. Pretty good shot amidships. That makes me worry that I missed the farther target, though. No, I did not! Hmm... Mm -mm -mm. Well, thanks there, Solid. Much obliged. Alright. Um, this guy's listing pretty badly to uh, Porsche. This guy looks like he might just carry on. So, my thought is we're going to have to do some deck gunning here. Thanks very kindly. Much obliged, much obliged, folks. Yeah, some deck gunning looks like it's in our future. So let's go ahead and order surface, please. And surface the boat. Good. Let's change course to, say, 085. No, not 085. Wrong thing. I'm looking at relative. Let's change it to um, 050. 050 is what we're looking for. Um, right there. Yeah. Okay. And let's increase speed to full. Alright. So, they're probably not going to go down on their own, but that's okay. That's fine. We're learning. It's okay. Battery level's at 80%. That's fine. So, one guy's peeling out. <clears throat> the other guy looks like he's more or less following suit as well. Not too shabby. We're getting the hang of this torpedo thing. Now it's just a matter of, you know, getting the handle hang of everything else. It's my dive officer. Um, it looks like we're on the surface now. Looks like. We're gonna find out if water comes in or not. Nope, we're good. There we go. Yeah, the farthest target does look like she's in pretty rough shape. You're not wrong. All right. Let's uh, go have Adam. Um, what's our current course? We're still turning. All right. We're going to want to turn... I don't know. Say... Heading 020. <clears throat> Zero two zero. All right. Uh, ahoy again there, feet. How's she going? All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and dial. Let's which key is it? Let's dial. What key is it? Here we go. Let's dial it to about oh close to two k. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Make it 21. Ooh, a little low. <laughs> Make it 23. Yeah, she's burning merrily now. <clears throat> oh, I hear you, my guy. Oh, we're going to ignore her. She's gone. All right, let's set this up more closer to 3K. Oh! More like 33. More like 35. There you are. I found you. I love that it takes so long for the uh, shots to come in. 
because it's like crazy. Let's make it 38. That guy's having a rough go. Oh, that one went over. Boom. Gotta love the cannon as well. Makes a lovely sound. Got him. That one was a little low, I think. <laughs> this is enjoyable. Highly enjoyable. I think I missed with that one. It's so much more pleasing that it takes so long to hit the target because it's you feel better about the shot somehow. You know what I mean? Nice. Election agency. All right, got to do some steering here. Let's go. Let's steer to here. No, no, no. Here, five degrees. Slow me down to great speed. Yeah, buddy. Oh, Jesus. I'm shooting, not you. Bad, Rick. Bad. Boom. Getting her, baby. Getting her, baby. Just spewing flames and oil. Nice shot. Right up a little. Oh, that guy got her fires out pretty well. Nice! That one's a little high, but it should still hit. Nice. Easy. Kablue! There it is. She's gone. All right, let's turn down this dial to 2,900. See how far away this guy is. Nice shot, okay. Uh, I think somehow I missed that one. There was a splash in the middle of the boat, but no fire. There's one. There we go. Felt a little high. Good. Low. Low. Turn this up a little. Low. Turn up more. There it is. Kaswoosh. Ooh. That one is a little high, but it should still hit. Good. Battery level. Damn it. Switch to friggin' uh, diesels, you dopes. Half speed, set course, 350. Boom! Trying to watch on the iPad. There you go, my guy. I can imagine it would be a little fiddly. Good shot. Ooh, that'll be low, I think. That one should be okay. They can take a pretty significant amount of damage, which makes sense. Like, ships are not super easy to sink in the real world, you know. Yeah! Got him! Turn the port.
All right, 100% torpedo hit ratio. That's good. I think the next thing is learning how to do salvo shots a little better. I haven't been able to get salvo shots down yet. So we're going to have to figure that out, I think. Uh, so let's go ahead and fire up the same basic mission. I'm in Norwegian Sea. And we need intel. Some intelligence would be nice. I have tried multiplayer, yes, on a, several occasions. It's hard to tee up games. It could be harder. Okay, they're heading away from me. Um, I'm looking at tank... No, they're heading to, sort of towards me. I think I'm looking at tankers. So let's go ahead and... So they're at... 150. Um, if they're at 150... They're there. I want to steer at 220, I think. No, I'm doing that wrong, aren't I? Depends on where the nose of the ship is, uh, which I'm not 100% sure of. Hello, boat. Where's my boat? There it is. What did I say? 220? I think I said 220, right? Probably. Those guys are over yonder. Ooh. All right. So, let's give the order to dive. Go to... Well, let's wait till we complete the turn. And I'll reevaluate. Alright, so we're, if we're going at roughly 220... Right? 220 is basically there. They are steering towards where we're going to be, which is good. I think, overall. Let's give the order to switch to electric motors and dive the boat. Dive to periscope depth. Periscope depth dive I. All right. Start getting some information. Maybe if I can figure out where I am and where the boats are. Okay, mass, king post, king post, funnel. Mass, king post, king post, funnel, aft, okay. Merchants. Mass, king post, king post, funnel. Good. Aft. And I think... Um, I think I'm looking at a heavy tanker. What depth is periscope on dial? I don't know what, you're, what dial, buddy. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, where's my boats? Mast is weird looking. Weird looking mast. King post, king post. Okay. Weird, look, weird looking mast. Weird looking mast. Uh, shoot, it could technically be all of these. I see an island to the front for sure. Maybe one to the rear. Damn it. Island to the front and one to the rear? Definitely not that. Unspecified. What if it was just in the front? No. Front and aft? No. Front, mid? No. So, heavy tanker type 5 is the one that seems to be... Consistent. All right. So we're going to go ahead and identify that. How do you set periscope depth? Um, when you pull up the one key, there is this dude right here. Click him. And over here, you click the one that has the little periscope thing. Mr. Portelli, what's going on? That's how that goes, my guy. All right. Second target is mast, funnel, mast. Island to the forward only, I think. Mast, funnel, mast, island to the forward. Mast, funnel, mast. Uh, island to the... F maybe not. Mast, funnel, mast. That's wrong. Some oh, this thing. Hang on. Mast, funnel, mast. Mid... Was it a midships or was it aft? I think it was, I think it was a midship, right? Midship, okay. 
midship. I think we're looking at this guy. Super tall. Yeah, that's that's our that's our Huckleberry right there. Medium tanker type six. Added. Alright. So this is my closest target. Her mast height is 44 meters. Let's go ahead and figure out roughly how far we are. 44 meters. Might be a little tough. Almost say. I would say something to the tune of six kilometers. Uh, two would be seven, three. It's two and a bit. Let's try, let's see what the uh, funnel height is 22. Let's try that. Funnel is easier to see. 22 meters. And that would be almost. Hmm. Yeah, six, roughly six or seven kilometers is what I'm getting. Yeah, I think that's correct. What was it again? 40? I think it was 40. 44. Never mind. My bad. 44. Okay, so we're on a course of 220. Right? I think. Uh, if I could find where four... Oh. I could just go like this. Uh, 216... They're coming up. Yay. I think we're good to slow down here. Um, let's go dead slow forward. Dead slow. Okay. <clears throat> Have you changed to summertime? God, no. No, in fa as a matter of fact, a snowstorm just more or less ended here. Change to summer. My God, this is Canada. This is Canada, man. Ain't no summer here in Canada. Um, two, almost three. It's around 6K, I would say. 6K. So the second, or sorry, the farthest target is this fella. Mast height 3.5. Three, 5. Uh, it's touchy. Say, is that 36, 35, okay. 35 gets me, man, this is hard to see, 1, 2, 3, almost 4, that doesn't make sense, according to this thing, it's only 3k away, oh, no, no, okay, wait. Maybe five and a half K, something like that. That doesn't make sense. Because if this guy's got a mass height of 44, then she is almost exactly three ticks. Oh no, Fifth, no, because it's 5,300. So if this guy's got a mass height of 35, four, three, Five clicks. Hmm. Still snow in there. You like the snow? I do not like snow. I'm against it. I'm against snow. In all of its forms. Normally start streaming at 11 p.m. my time. Today you started at 10. Um, I did let everybody know on Twitch and... Or sorry, on Twitter and Discord that I'd be going up early tonight. You apparently didn't get the memo. Alright. Where's my tat? Back is there. We should probably come about a little bit. Um, let's say to 170. 170, please. Thereabouts. Yeah, let's do that. Because that should more or less put us pointing at them, I think. Good thing you live on the ice planet Hoth. Basically, more or less, I would say Canada and Hoth have an awful lot in common. Awful lot, I would say. Alright. As they get closer, our information will get a little better, which is good. Did I say 170? It's say 170. Still moving. 
All right. That's fine. There's my huckleberries. There's my heading. We still haven't made the turn yet, but that's okay. As we're going dead slow. All right. Second target was three five meters. That's roughly let's see there. Four. I'm getting roughly thirty five hundred meters for him. Thirty five hundred, but this target is closer. And I'm getting fifty. Th no, getting. Yeah, almost 53. Weird. Don't have Twitter in my Discord. You don't follow much. <sighs> Mr. Fortelli. Not hang out in my Discord? Thought we were friends, man. Just saying. <laughs> All right, have we completed our course change? Pretty much. We're getting there. We're getting there. We are getting there. All right, so we've identified the ships. Um, we may have identified one of them wrong. Just because I'm not really sold on um, words that I can't think of. Mast, king post. Oh, hang on. There's another mast. Mast, king post, king post, mast funnel. Mast, king, mast, king post, king post, mast funnel. Uh, recognition manual. Search. Mass. King post, king post, mass funnel. No? That's it. Heavy tanker type 15. Isn't that the one I already did? Heavy tanker type 15? No, it's not. Okay. This is good. Because this is my huckleberry. This is why I couldn't figure out um, why the distances were wrong. Identified ships. Remove the Type 5. Get rid of her. Remove. Good. This makes more sense. So the Type 15 has a mast height of 43 meters. Okay. Good. This is good. 43 meters. This should solve my error in distance. Um, four ticks gets me roughly 4k. And 35 gets me shy of four ticks, meaning 3,000. So 3,000 and... thirty-nine hundred. That makes sense. There we go. That makes a lot of sense. All right, that's our heading there. Um... We're going to be really close to these guys, I think. Let's go ahead and kill the motors. I'll stop, please. I'd love to get a speed check off them, but they're so far out of plumb with with, ref, uh, with regards to a 90 degree that I won't be able to get a good one. Um, I wonder if I could figure out a course for them, though. So, if he's sitting at... Say... Roughly 4k at 153. Roughly 4k at 153. 153 ish. 4k, come on. There we go. 15. I wish I could zoom in on this uh, circle. Holy crap, I can't see anything. Alright. Give a plot there. We'll wait a couple of minutes and we'll take another plot. And then maybe I can figure out what their course is going to be a little better. He said with trepidation. Who knows? All right. Because I don't want to get so close as to screw up any uh, shooting solutions. That being said, they should be a fair distance out. 43. A little over four ticks. Maybe 3,800 now. We'll wait. Wait till they get to, say, there. We'll take another quick bearing. And then we'll be able to have a better idea of where my boat ought to be pointing. 
Uh, let's see. They're letting me know that there's a freighter and a tanker very, very close. Thank you, ship. I appreciate it. I appreciate the ship letting me know that. I do. I think they're going a lot slower than the ships that we saw last time around, which is good. There's a part of me that's thinking I should go on more of a parallel course. Get in front of them, get a speed, run out in front of them, turn, fire in to have a more accurate uh, course representation uh, and speed representation, but... Uh, that being said, um, almost four and a half, say, let's pretend like maybe like 32, 3300, 32, 3300 at 157, 32 or 3300 at 15, oh, it's got snapping. 32, 33. Ooh, got to turn that off. Where the hell is snapping? Because that sucks. Okay. 157, 3200 maybe. Say there-ish. And a little point. And we'll take another one. And if we're way out to lunch, we'll know that we're way out to lunch. And if we're not way out to lunch, then all is well. Um, that being said, we're coming pretty close to shooty shooty bang bang time. Shooty shooty bang bang. Um, if I wanted to sort that out, then, okay, if I drew a line from uh, this point through this point. Right? That puts them on a heading of 310. 310? I think so. Okay. So if they were on a heading of 3... Well, that doesn't make any sense. 310 is way the hell over here. Their heading would be more like... Okay, what's the, what's the opposite of 310? I'm bad at this. Opposite of 310 is about what? Uh, I can't. <laughs> is there something I can line up on the damn screen? 300, 120, 110, 130. Okay, 130. So if I went on a course of 130, yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and set course for 130. Um, great speed. I think. Right? I'll get parallel to them. And then I'll be able to get a good speed. We'll zoom out in front of them shoot them down. Yeah. That's more or less the plan. I feel like we're turning wrongly. Um, okay. Because we should be... Oh, no, wait. Oh, man, am I ever making a mess of this? Okay. All right, I gotta think. Think, think, think. Okay. Make course three ten. Right. Right. Maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> Wolf says negative ninety. I. It's nowhere near any of the numbers I just said. It's like when you do a math test, and you're like, okay, I got 16.7. Which one's closest to that? And they're all completely different numbers from what you got. And you're like, oh. Well, that's... Hmm. That's not going to be helpful. <clears throat> minus 90, 310, minus 90. 
I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, Wolf. Sorry, my guy. Not picking up what you're putting down. Not picking up what you're putting down, my guy. All right. Making the turn. Let me think. Battery level's at 90%. Ship. Wolf, man, you gotta type out a sentence, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Ship is 310. And Flies is giving me, um... Formulas. Which I will not be able to figure out. So... I'm sure you're all trying to help. I'm 100% positive you're trying to help, but none of that is coming across as information of any kind. You know what I mean? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, my guy? Okay. Now. Boats. Let's slow us down a bit. I'm making a 180 degree turn. Um, good? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Without a top down to get some kind of a reference as to what I'm doing, I have no idea what I'm doing. That's why we're playing, so I can try to learn. Okay, so now we're on a heading of roughly 310. It's actually 308. These guys should be on roughly the same heading, I think. Seer 280. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I should be able to get a decent speed check off these guys really soon, actually. Which would be nice. I'm converging. Continue 320. If you guys don't tell me why you're saying these things, I'm certainly not going to do it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. You guys are just do this. And I'm like, well, why do this? But OK, that's still not helping me. <laughs> you know what I mean? 310 minus 180, which is the opposite. OK, the other formula is just an easier way to get the opposite compost point. Oh, we're still talking about that. OK. 270 upper scope. 270 relative. Is that what you're trying to say? I don't... I don't understand why I would care about that. Why would I care about 270 relative? You know what I mean? Alright, we're getting pretty close to a nice... Um, is that your 90? Yes. 270 would be 90 degrees port. Correct. Practicing my ADC. I don't know what ADC is. Don't know, my guy. Okay, I like the little British flag on the back. That's a, a nice touch. It's cute. That's cute. They're going a lot faster than I am. A whole lot faster than I am. But that's okay. Okay, so if this guy is sitting at 175, and his mast height is 35, and he is two, a little over two kilometers away at 175. A little over two kilometers at 175. Um, 175, two kilometers. Roughly, roughly here. And that works out nicely. That's pretty much exactly what we figured. Good. So that's the closest target. All right, so we are on more or less a parallel path with them, which is fantastic. Good. Yay, this is working. This is working. Sure you have them in your navy. Probably just call it something else. Air direction controller. Uh, we've got nav people. Would that be what we're talking about? Nav people? Because that could be a thing. Um, let me go ahead and set speed dead slow. So that we're ready to stop to get a good uh, speed check. Why not left 40 to close? Because I want to get a speed check off. So that's, yeah, that's my plan. My plan is to get an accurate speed check 
go out forward somewhere, wait for them to roll in, and see if I can make salvos work. It's a learning experience. If you're if you're looking for uh, uh, professional gameplay, this ain't the spot, my guy. Nice starting to see the small convoy pattern. Oh, starting to see the... Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's taking me some time. Unfortunately, I very rarely get a chance to play with, you know, others. And you sort of got to try to figure it out on your own from time to time. You know what I mean? Now, the other one had a mass height of 43. And her mass is that one way back there. That one's over six, six and a half. It's about 2,600. That makes sense. I like that. Cool. 35. Um, take another bearing offer. Just over six. Still roughly at 2k. Which makes sense because we're basically running parallel. I'm I'm getting there, Rick. I'm getting there, my guy. A little over six. Yeah, around 2k. Still around 2k. 2k at 187. 2k at 187. And roughly there. Say, we're off a little bit. You know, it's not a perfect system that I've been doing here, but uh, I'm getting the idea. I'm picking up what I'm putting down. How about that? All right, we're going to wait until they're at, oh. Maybe not a perfect 90. We should be... We should get a pretty good speed off them pretty shortly. Cat Mazacon, I say jokingly telling him to continue 320. There you go, my guy. Got the game last week. Really haven't had time to play. I hear you, my dude. Time to play games like this is rough to come by. Because you pretty much got to dedicate... You got to think every engagement is probably going to be at least an hour. Right? At least an hour is what you're probably looking at there. So, you know, it can be tough. It can be tough. Um, I'm going to kill the motors here. I think we can get a really good speed check. Uh, it'll be off ever so slightly, but at this distance, I can't see that being too much of a problem. Just going to wait for our speed to drop down to zero now. Once we get a speed check off each ship, uh, furthest and closest, then we can figure out what to do about it kind of a thing. You're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. So Val would like me to say pseudo-stratified, silated, columnar epithelium. I don't think I got the second word right, but I think I'm pretty close there, Val. Figure any inverse derp -a derp -a derp -a. Yes, that is true. You know what you can also do is I can hold up a piece of paper against this dial on the screen, and I can say that the inverse of, you know, three, like, you know what I mean? So you're you're 100 correct that that's a good good thing to know, but I'm I can just hold up a piece of paper on the thing and see what's the back shot. Honestly, a little intimidated by new stuff the guy put in since I last played. Um, U boats U boat isn't all that different, honestly. All right, let's get a speed check off closest target. Columnar was a bit weird, but silated was definitely off. That's what I would call it, silated. <clears throat> That's what I would say. All right, so this is the one that has a 35 meter mast. When I fly, I do the same thing. Take my pen and put on the compass and read. There you go, my guy. Yep. Just a back shot. All the math in the world, and you can just, you know, chop half the circle off and you're good to go, right? <laughs> Low tech. All right. Closer to 36 degrees. So, not this guy, this guy. She is 116 meters in length. 116 divided by 38 seconds multiplied by 1.94 gives me a speed of just shy of 6. And target 2... Silated sounds like sea elated. Really? Hmm. If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. 100%, my guy. Low tech here, people. Very low tech. This speed check should be pretty damn close because uh, she's almost at a 90 to me. 
This should be okay. That's correct, Tally. That is correct. Almost 90. Almost, my guy. Clickety 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 clack, clickety clickety clack. Time in, time in, time in. Gotta get your time in. It looks like she might be going a little bit slower than her friend. 42 seconds. Okay. Somebody remember just shy of six for me, please. Just shy of six for me, please. Okay. I really should start playing this with a pen and paper, I guess. Length of target, 134. Multiplied by, let's call it 42 seconds. No, divided by 42 seconds. Divided by 42 seconds. Multiplied by 1.94. Gets me 6.1. So realistically, 6, 6 will work for both these targets. So let's go ahead and plug in 6 knots. We should be close enough that it'll be fine. 6 knots, okay. Now, let's change heading. I want to make... Actually, no, we don't need to change heading. We just need to go faster. Give me... Full speed. Hmm, I was moving a dead slow there instead of stop. Those numbers are going to be off. Wait one. Negative. Stop the engines. It's my bad. I didn't stop. Don't forget the AP. Yeah, I should do that, too. I keep forgetting that the game resets it every time. So, you know. Need to be going zero, please. Or as close to zero as humanly possible, anyway. Because now my speed checks are useless. Now my speed checks are basically useless. Useless, useless. I mean, they're going to be close, but I need better than close. Slightly better than close, anyway. On speed, go down. Go down. Go down. Okay, close enough. I sh if I end up with roughly six again, I'll be happy. A Weems ruler. If you're going for full salvo, make sure you have loaded one sort of torps. Don't mix steam and electric. Uh, okay. Good to know, I guess. Yep. Don't mix steam and electric. You got it. All right. I'd like to get another six would be nice. Or close to six. Then I'd know I'm pretty much on the money. 35 seconds. And this boat was the other one. Anchor type six, 116 meters. 116 divided by 35 multiplied by 1.94 gives me 6.4. Okay, so let's try this dude again. 6.4. Now these aren't as quite as good as a 90 as last time. So we are we are introducing some errors on our own. Which is irritating, but can't be helped now. Unless I zoomed up ahead of them a little bit, killed the engines, did this all again, etc, etc. You know what I'm saying. This ship was, I think, 134 meters long, but we'll have to check. I wonder if uh, one of these days I should, I should print off a book. You know what I mean? Weems is a brand. Oh, okay. And... 30... Let's call it 38 seconds. Other guy. 134, like I thought. 134 divided by 38 seconds. Multiply 1.94. Gives me 6.8. <sighs> I wish you could do it for me. I do, because I am not doing well. I love that thing, by the way. All right, max out the speed here. We got to catch up. Now, feel like we're going to be drifting. No, it should be okay. So one came in at 6.4 and one at 6.8. So if we say shoot down the middle at like six, six and a half, maybe we'll be okay. Know what I mean? Maybe we'll be all right. Shoot down the middle at six and a half. Let's try there. Six and a little bit more than half. How about that? 
because the faster target is bigger. Yeah, it might be okay. Might be okay. We will be doing a salvo shot. Our first tubes will be one and three, please. Yeah. Okay. Now, she is the farther target, I believe. Mass height of 43. Which puts her at... Just over six. So, maybe 2,500 meters. This guy... And just over six, two thousand. Okay. All right. So this guy's at a pretty good ninety to us now. I'll wait until this guy. I'll wait until. Hmm. Realistically, we sh we could be shooting pretty much now. Right. Because the torpedoes will veer off and go get them. Yeah, we could do that. You know, I'm very... Yeah, let's try that. Let's see what the torpedoes can do. Head slow to the forward, please. Head slow forward, I. Okay, so we know the length of this target is 143, but we're going to lie to the TDC, because the TDC does not like the actual length of ships. So we'll say the target length is 100. Okay. Distance to that target is currently three almost six on the nose so 2600 give or take range 26 angle on bow is almost exactly this we'll take one last look to confirm uh, pretty damn close. Maybe off by ever so slightly. Ever so slightly off. More like there. Right? Okay. Depth. Didn't do depth. Ooh, very shallow draft. Four meter draft. Let's say two meters then. This salvo. Time to target. One minute 57 thereabouts. Ready to fire. Firing. Two torpedoes away. Second target is... How far? Shy of six. Two thousand meters ought to do it. Two thousand meters ought to do it. Length of this target it was 110. Or 115 or something. We're going to say it's more like 75 meters in length. We're going to switch to tubes one and four. Angle on bow is like this much, maybe 120. Yeah. And second target, firing. Why aren't you firing? What am What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? I've got a red lamp. Why do I have a red lamp? Tube 1 already fired. What is... I shot 1 and 3... 2 and 4. That's it. Thank you. Okay, so now angle on bow. Eh, it's still roughly the same. Dealt with it. Ugh. That was annoying. Irritating as all hell, to tell you the truth. Alright. Loading up the tubes again here. And let's go ahead. What did I say the target was? I can't even remember how long the first impact was supposed to be now. This is the thing. I can't remember these things in between screens. As soon as I get a new screen, all of the information I was just saying disappears from my mind. 157. Okay. Any idea how TDC physically adjusts the depths on the torpedo when you adjust it? No. I have no clue. Well... That first salvo should have hit by now, then. Oh! Okay, it was off by about 10 seconds. 
I think we only hit it once. I cannot get the I get the salvo stuff down. No matter what I do to dial in the uh, like make the torpedoes hit closer together, I cannot figure that part out. Anyway, we hit the farther target once, unfortunately. The captain has people to help him. That would be helpful, yeah. Except that since we're dealing with Twitch chat, when I ask a question when it comes to this, like doing the game, I need to know now, not in 40 seconds. Do you know what I mean? So that part gets a little difficult. All right. No idea if that second volley will hit now. She'll be doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And I have no way of knowing when roughly it's supposed to hit because I've only got one timer. And I have not even begun to try to figure out how to get the torpedoes to land closer together. AOB might have been slightly off on first shot. It was probably more like 100 when I put 90. You might be right. You might be right. Hey! I might have hit that one twice. I don't know. I have no way of knowing. You don't get two concussive noises to the best of my knowledge, so... But the fact that she's burning tells me I probably hit her twice. But other than that, I have, I have zero way of telling. Okay, let's, um, let's make course 290. Um, and we're going to surface the boat, too. 290, surface the boat. Nice. Can't blame yourself for not remembering everything when the game is made. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, if I'm saying, a, like, saying, like, a single number, like, uh, 312... And then I switch screens, and now I can't remember the number I just said. That's really... It's unsettling. You know what I mean? Super unsettling. Well, uh, sounds like the boys are doing stuff. Depth is where? Oh, we're on the surface. Good. Okay. Let's make course more like 300. Uh, sorry, 2... Let's make course 24... 250, maybe? Make course 250. Make course 250. No, that's... Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think. Okay. Um, Danton, thanks for the follow. Much obliged. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Hello, hello. Alright, let's get out on the deck gun here. Go uh, say hello to our little friend. Do you have any steam in... I think you're asking what kind of torpedoes I was using. They were T1s. They were T1s. Ooh-wee! Look at all the fireworks over there. Good stuff. Yeah, boy. Alright. We want to be heading off in that there direction, give or take. Which we should be doing. We are spinning about to 250. Good. Um, speed is increasing. Roughly 8.5 currently. Alright, so we know that target is roughly 3 kilometers away. Uh, so, if we got crazy with this gun... Say like that. Maybe try to have a shot. Let's see how how good the gun gets dialed. Ooh, a little high. A little high. That's okay. Damn it! That was gonna, that one's gonna go behind. I think. Ooh, close though. Ooh, easy now. Waves, chill. That's low. Did I turn down the waves this time around? I don't know if I did or not. Oh, God, so close. Come on, work with me, C. Work with me, not against me. Yes! Okay. Here we go. Here we go. What's my family think of my streaming? They must be interested in it, or is it a thing that Dad does on Tuesday night? My kids think it's fairly cool. Uh, sometimes they'll make jokes about how, oh, look, it's lightly salted, everybody, and that kind of thing. Um, I don't know if they're proud, per se, but they always wish me luck. Um, they hope I have a good screen, uh, stream and have fun. Um, they're, my family is very, very supportive, because since we live in a, a fairly small home, my setup is here in my living room. So when I'm doing my streaming, you know, we've got to kind of go to ultra-quiet mode, and it's not easy for the family to do. 
And that's why I have a very set in stone, well, more or less set down streaming uh, uh, schedule where I don't tend to go over a certain amount uh, time because it's bedtime for the kids, right? But things are pretty good. Funky, nine months of your life, my guy. Thank you. Thank you very kindly. I'll take it with pride. Um, weirdly gruesome. Thanks for the follow. Much obliged. Uh, we did not switch to diesel engines. So the bots don't switch to diesels on their own, which is weird, but okay. I'll bear it in mind. All right. Keep on trying to sink this guy. Come on, baby. Ooh. The other guy is... Whew, other guy's roasting weenies over there. Boom. Nice hit. Good. Oh, wait. It might have went over. Let's, um... Let's dial this down. We're like 2,900. Easy. Yes. Good hit. Okay. Rig house for ultra quiet, baby. For a while there, uh, for a short time back in... Oh, early 2022. Oh, that was over. I was I actually had these uh, lights with that like LED lights here at my setup, and I was switching between like red, blue, and white lighting. But it was it was not the easiest thing to keep track of at all times. And uh, yeah, I ended up abandoning it. Uh, abandoning abandoning it. There you go. Sometimes I have a speech thing. Sorry. Go to red lighting. All lights in the house turns red. Wouldn't that be something? Okay, uh, looks like our first dude is visiting Davy Jones. Goodbye, friend. Starting to shoot over this guy. Let's turn down the deck gun to 2700. Easy. Don't fight me. Oh no, it's high. You get that, just that touch of upswell, you know? Ooh. Evil robot overlords? I mean, maybe. Damn it. Come on. Come on, C's. Play, play, play nice. Play nice. Damn. Ooh. Might be a little short. Ooh, not short at all. Alright, turn this down to 25. Easy. Uh, just shy. Curses. Just shy. Over. Nice hit. Okay. Friend and I have a paranormal podcast after record. Oh, yeah, I hear you, my guy. I hear ya. It's hard to do. It's hard to make content, you know? It's not an easy thing when you've got a family. Well, it's not an easy thing in, in general, I guess. It takes work. You gotta put work into it. Uh, turn this down to 2400. Sub game using oceans. Okay. Using the oceans from Sea of Thieves. The water? I don't get it. Why is the water different? <laughs> is it is it what? Wait, I don't know. I've never played Sea of Thieves, so I, I don't I don't know. Is the water weird or something? Damn it, that was way high. Man, oh man, I should have turned down the waves a little bit. Because this is difficult. Hey! Nice shot there. Water graphics. Oh, okay. Is it like cartoony looking or something? Or super realistic? Or what are we talking about? It's amazing. Okay. I suppose you can get away with it because if you put in like super realistic oceans but everything else is a cartoon, it's not as hard on people's graphics cards, I wouldn't guess. Good hit there. A little over there. That's going to be over, too. Talking and not ranging. <laughs> it's cartoony, but oddly real. Okay. Come on, baby. That should... No. Oh, okay. I thought that was going over for sure. Starting to smoke a bit. Hey! There it is, people. Not bad. That went okay. 
That one went okay. It's also the color of the crib. There you go, my guy. Well, thanks, Dan. Solved. Much obliged. Much obliged. Um, let's see, folks. We've been online for about an hour and a half. I'm thinking it's about break time. I'm thinking it's about break time. Uh, Vincent, you're always welcome, my friend. Of course. Um, <laughs> well job. Interesting. Well, well job job, perhaps. Much obliged there, Bear. Okay, folks, we're going to take a quick break here. Um, I'm sure if anybody is getting up there close to level 40 like myself, you got to get up and move around every now and again. Let your knees pop, find something to drink, smoke them if you got them, that kind of thing. Just as I go, I'm sorry, Vincent, my guy. You, you get the alert same as everybody else, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, we're going to be back in uh, 10 minutes, 15 at the outside. We'll carry on and see what else we, uh, we end up doing here tonight. Um, if you choose to leave the stream now, of course, I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday being more of a variety kind of night, and uh, Thursday being U-Boat night. So if that's your gig, look me up on all them socials. Come on by, see me again. Hope to see you again in the future. Much obliged. And for everybody else that's going to stick around for just a little bit of time, I'll see you shortly.
Mike Smith, thank you. Much obliged. I was just saying, uh, let's get back into it kind of a thing. So uh, we were detected, but I'm guessing that has to do with us surfacing more than anything else. Uh, we fired four torpedoes, only two hit. So the salvo thing. Got to figure out that salvo thing, man. That's where I'm not getting it. That's where I'm not getting it. So we're going to we're gonna try to sort that part out. That's what we're going to try to do. That's what we're going to try to do. T1s in the forward, good. T1 to the rear, good. All right, let's go ahead and fire up another mission here. Bay of Biscay. The Bay of Biscay. All right, let's have a little look. Let's figure out what's going on topside. And by topside, I mean through the... Uh, holy crap. Bro, look at the seas. Oh, God. Okay. Wow. We are in the middle of an absolute storm. So, I am never going to find targets like this. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to submerge the boat. We're going to try to use the hydrophone. Because this is crazy, boys. Crazy. Beautiful. I don't know if I'd call it that, but uh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll head on down a little bit. And we'll use the uh, hydrophone and see if we can figure out where our where our targets might be. Where am I going? The wrong way. That's, that's where I'm going. <clears throat> Rough as my beard. There you go, my guy. Give me that. Give me that. I volunteer as tribute. Uh, Funky, I can't name people in this game, my guy. Uh, I'm sorry. It should say U-boat only when you pick that. Um, sorry, Funky. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I can't name people in this game. Ouch. Okay. All right, we'll turn this up. Hydrophone contact 348. I don't hear anything at 348. Huh. These down? No? Turn them up? Okay. 348. Oh. Ooh. 348. No. I can try, Funky. I don't actually know how to do that. I can try to do that. I may have to ask one of my mods. Um, give me... Dead slow, please. Because I think what I'm hearing is water on the, uh, hull. think we've got a ship between 150 and 140 relative now are we, are we moving away or towards I wonder all right so take let's take a look on the on the periscope at approximately 150 and see where we end up maybe we can find them Maybe we can find them. One five zero. Four zeros there. Hmm. This is the mass mass uh, max extension to the periscope that I can possibly do. 
I am not getting anything really. Man, the seas are bad. Wait. Three, four, five, close range. That makes sense. I have zero, zero eyes on this. None. But they're apparently right out here somewhere. It said close range. Okay. Wonder how close is close. Let's set course for 275 uh, half speed. 275. Maybe if I dial in towards them, we'll be able to see them better. <clears throat> How you liking uh, Wolfpack? I love it, to tell you the truth. I wish I could play it in um, multiplayer more often. And yes, Subsim is very highly involved in this. Um, good day, Sam Slade. Now, there's, now there is a literary character that not a lot of people are going to remember. Sam Slade. That goes back a ways. So, somewhere in this vicinity is our targets. That being said, I don't think I'm going to have a chance in hell of seeing them. I really don't. <laughs> Literally the first person to recall that. Well, there you go, my guy. I like books. Books are a thing I enjoy. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. We may have to service the boat, um, just so I can get more height on the periscope here. Because I can't see a damn thing. We're, like, how I'm going to get um, distances, I have no idea. Because I don't... I know there's... Well, people claim there's a way to do it strictly with the hydrophone, but I cannot understand it. It involves some kind of a, a formula, but it also... It also is really, really dependent on how your ears work, like your own personal, you know what I mean? So that's difficult. Um, geez, okay, we're gonna have to come to the surface, surface the boat. Um, once I figure out where we are, we'll swap to diesels. I may turn on the compressor too. Wow, it is nasty out. Rest air supplies at 90%. Thank you. Alright. We're on the surface. Sorry, I'm chewing on a piece of ice. Diesel engines engage, please. Half speed. I need to go turn the compressor on. Compressor! They are huge. Yeah, it is nasty. Nasty out there. Super bad out there. I'm hoping that with the little bit of extra height I get for the periscope, we can at least see our targets. Because I don't have a damn clue how to work the hydrophone, so that's out of the question. Okay. Maximum extension. Um, so if we're on this heading now of 276, it should be somewhere about there-ish. Rest air is at 100. Damn, I've got nothing. A light would be good. Light in the darkness would be very helpful. But... Got nothing at all. Plus, I've got a, a white light shining directly in my face for streaming. Wait. That... Mm, that might be it there. I'm not 100% sure. How's the sonar simulation? Uh, it's good. Uh, you can hear stuff. It's not sonar, per se. It's hydrophone. But yes, you can definitely hear things. I'm told you can do it. I'm told it's possible. I, however, have never seen anybody actually do it, or come across any particularly good information on how to make it work. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Wow. 
Do I have a favorite subsim? Uh, currently, I'd probably call this one my favorite. I really enjoy U-Boat. Um, but after playing this one with its level of realism, there's something lacking in U-Boat that I plan on making up for by allowing the game to do its own solutions and stuff. Just because realistically, I've got that stuff down. Like, that's, that's not a challenge at all. Um... We may go back to per to uh, periscope depth here. We may go back to periscope because I don't I can't figure out I can't see anything. I'm gonna turn that compressor off. <clears throat> WCA sonar. I have no idea what that is. Sorry. No clue as to what a WCA sonar is. All right, let's dive the boat. Um. Periscope death. Periscope depth, please. Sinking of a... Okay. T2, isn't that like a type of tanker or something? Or... I'm probably wrong. Excuse me, fella. Okay. I've got a single ship at approximately 80 degrees relative. No idea about distance. 80 degrees relative. 80 relative. Can we take a look at the sonar UI? Uh, I was just there, my guy. Uh, hopefully that helped you. 80 degrees relative. <laughs> I can't see anything. Wow, with this level of waves, I don't know how this is possible. You know what I mean? Like, I... Pfft, I can't see past the waves. There's, you know... Yeesh. I may have to reset this so that we, we can actually see something. Because this is... This is... I have no way of playing this. I, it's impossible. 80 degrees relative. They gotta be... My guess would be four to five kilometers, realistically. Okay, maybe if I set course for zero four zero. Set course uh, zero four zero. Uh, no, set course three two zero. Sorry, I'm looking at relative the wrong way. All right. I mean that makes sense. Okay. Yeesh. Rough stuff, people. Okay. Coming around to 320. So if they were at 80, they should be at roughly 40 ish by now. But man, I can't see anything. Nothing. We're doing four knots. Um, we could increase speed, I guess. I don't know how, how much that'll work for me. Check the hydrophone. Uh, 352, very close. 352. Wonder do they mean relative, or... 352 is there. Nothing. Not even a hint. 6k to 8k by the looks of the gains is pretty much almost out of vi virtual... I'm assuming you mean visual range. That's quite possible. Okay, set course 300. Increase speed to great. 
head more or less in the direction we think they're going to be ending up in and see what we can do about it. Rough stuff, though. Very rough stuff. <clears throat> With a little more height, maybe I could get something done here, but... Jesus, these swells have to be... I don't know, 10, 15 meter swells. Like, these are huge. Monstrous swells. Monstrous. Alright. Down, please. Down, please. Thank you. No worries, my guy. It's all good. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Batteries are at 90. I'm going the wrong way again. Na 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 na. Na na na. Excuse me. I think I'm hearing two ships. Strongest noise is between 40 and 60. 52 seems to be my huckleberry. 52 degrees. I think they're headed towards us, I'm pretty sure. 52 degrees. Fifty-two. Not a hint, man. Nothing. Absolute zero. Alright, let's burn through the batteries a bit. Get up to full. <coughs> Pardon me. Try to get up to full speed. Try to get close enough to see something. Again, it's sort of useless because I will not be able to judge distance um, with this this amount of water motion. But if we can get close enough, maybe we can just try for hot shots, really. Because I really doubt they're going to notice the periscope on a night like this. I figure they got to be... Roughly in here somewhere. But I can't see anything. Have they indicated if they have different sound profiles for different ship classes? I believe they do, yes. Whether or not it's uh, accurate to the point where you could pick out individual ships by the screw noise, I really couldn't say. You'd have to do your own research on that, my guy. I do know that um, like bigger freighters have a different sound than smaller freighters, and attack vessels have a different sound altogether. Oh, hang on. I think I've got smoke. Uh, if I could just get a, a point down the alley with these waves, I could maybe... But I think I've got smoke roughly at 4-0. Maybe. Hmm. If only I had night vision goggles. That would be very helpful about now, I think. I thought I saw... smoke trailing back just over the over the head of a wave. I might have just been seeing another wave, realistically. <clears throat> so many games you want to buy. I hear you, my guy. There's always a million games to buy. That... that's a ship there. I would say that's a ship. Batteries at 80%. That's fine. Um, You can pick out individual escorts, merchant ships, not so much. There you go. Yep. That sounds about right. I would say my huckleberry's right there. We can get close enough. Maybe I'll be able to see it. We're steaming forward at... 7.5 knots. They'll be going somewhere between 6 and 7, I guess. I think I see a shadow... At well, I was going to tell you where at, but the uh, periscope keeps moving. It's roughly three three seven. True, three three seven. And our bearing is three hundred. There, I think it's two. I think.
think they're right out here. But I can't get a clear shot down the alley. Every time a wave goes down, another comes up. This this would be so tough to do in ra in actuality. My God. Like, you would have to learn how to use the, the hydrophone to do this, right? And I, I, again, I have no idea how to work out distances and speeds and such. I mean, the, the, the dream would be, of course, to get that good at it, but... That being said, who knows? The right way this time. Approximately four zero. I mean, if I can get close enough to see them, we can just guess. But I don't have a lot of high hopes for that. I really don't. So my idea is if we get close enough to see them, we fire a salvo. Best best we can figure kind of salvo thing. And hope to tag something, realistically. Or maybe instead of a salvo, we just fire, like, torpedo after torpedo after torpedo. <clears throat> that might be smarter. I think it's there. I think they're right there. But, I could be wrong. So much drift in the uh, periscope as well. Oh, there. I think I see a shadow. There you go. I'm pretty sure I can see smoke right there. Right at three... God damn it. Three, four, zero. Three, four, zero. There's definitely smoke right there. Oh, wow. Okay, we're closer than I thought. Because I'm pretty sure I just saw the hull. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, yeah, buddy, right there, okay. Zoom in on it, maybe you guys can see it too. There. See? Ooh, kill the motors. She's coming for us. Uh, kill both motors, please. There we go. She's coming for us. She'll overrun us. There. Wow, she's right on top of me. Pretty much. I don't know if she has a friend or not. I thought I heard two screws. Okay, we might actually have to back up, because I don't know... I can't really... I can't even judge a distance. So, I don't know if the torpedoes will have time to arm. I also have no idea of what kind of ship I'm looking at. No idea how fast they're going. Oh man, this is this is a lot of what ifs. A lot of what ifs. She's right here. She's having a hard time too. Uh no, so solid that's not actually how it works. Um I've tried using the uh the distortion point as like a, a starter point for kilometers, but that's not how it it's designed. That gives you maybe two-thirds of the way to target, maybe a half, depending on the size of the target, how good your hearing is, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? So I wish that's that's how it worked, but it's not, unfortunately. Holy crap, she's right there. Uh, no, I real like... If we were right on top of them, maybe I could make the deck gun work, but my, my feeling is we gotta just try to pitch torpedoes and hope for the best. But again, I don't even... I think I'm just going to have to set torpedoes to minimums. Okay, let's uh, let's start doing some stuff. Let's go AP. Let's set angle on bow to uh, 90 degrees, bow left. Because they will come across our bow quite shortly here. Um, minimums for distances. Let's go ahead and plug in a relative speed of, say, 6 and a bit. And we'll just sort of try this out, kind of a thing. Because, yeah, I don't know... 
I don't I have zero intel about this target. I can't I can't for the life of me figure out what it is. Holy sweet merciful god. The waves, man. Okay, so she's really big in the periscope. I would say maybe 500 meters. Something like that. Less than a kilometer. Yeah. Yeah, I would say Maybe 500 is the way to shoot. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's just start taking some shots here. Yeah. Um, let's try. Come on, zoom in. Let's try a shot at 500. <sighs> fire it. Can't fire it. What did I forget? 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 That, that, this, this. What am I forgetting? Tube one. Slave to the periscope. Depth, whatever. Speed. Which off it's on UZO. What? It's set to AP. It's set to AP. I don't understand why I can't fire. Okay. Well, this is useless in essence. Make course two nine zero. Dead slow. Don't understand why I can't fire. I, I am set on periscope. You, oh, you have to identify it. God damn it! That's one thing I cannot stand about games like this, especially in U-boat. Why do I have to identify it? Just fire the goddamn torpedo. No, that can't be it. Can't be it. And the reason I say it can't be it is because I've seen Matt, over on his channel, not use the book at all. And just pitch torpedoes left, right, and center. So that can't be it. That cannot be it. Right? What the fuck? This guy's coming the other way. What am I looking at? I don't understand. Where's the front of my boat? She's right on top of me, man. It just fired, somehow. No idea. I have no idea what just happened. Okay. I don't know what just happened. Um, cool, I guess. Tube two. Reload one. Jesus. Okay, I'm not gonna hit him, I don't think. And then I got a one behind me somewhere? Behind me. Okay, hang on. Is that my 210? I have not used the rear tubes in this game yet. <laughs> no idea. <coughs> uh, yeah, thanks, Solid. It was out front of me. I, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Um... I don't know what to do. If I could just see what the world looked like, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I could figure out what to do, but I don't have a clue of what to do right now. None. 
Um, okay. What if we try this again? Let's, um... Let's set for minimums. Let's make angle on bow. No, 90 left should be fine. Uh, make for minimums. Angle on bow. Bow left. Tube two. It's more like, I don't know, 100 and change something. Maybe like that. Just it won't fire. I don't understand. It's right there. What the hell? Can I not fire from the TDC? Maybe I can't fire from the TDC. Tube three. Um. I can't. I can't. Oh. Uh. Okay. He's dead. I don't, I don't, I don't know what just happened. I really don't. Okay, this guy's heading in like the opposite direction. Um, stop the boat. Hoo wee, this is rough. It's rough. Yes, there was a sound, my guy. Killed him first try. I don't know about that. Killed him anyway. I, I don't know. I can't tell what's going on. I feel like I've got multiple ships moving in multiple directions, and I'm not sure what to do about it. If I could just see through the waves. There's a guy there. That's the one I just hit. There's one over that way. Right? Can't see. Okay. Um, some kind of tanker maybe. Set course to two nine zero. Course is roughly two nine zero already. What? Uh, okay. That doesn't make sense. Two nine zero is there. I want to go 212 maybe 212 10 Try to pump a torpedo into this guy I guess <clears throat> I'll stop Nope <coughs> Angle tracking must be off if I want to shoot from the TDC that makes sense. That would have been good to know. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's actually speed up a little. Alright. Man, this is a tough mission. Wow, is this ever a tough mission. I can't make heads or tails as to what's going on. All I know is I should be dialing my way towards this guy a little. Right? Where is my zero? It's coming about. Got it set. It's right now 270 and turning. I think I set it for 210. 210 is too much. 220. Set it for 220. Half speed forward. Target is there. That's got to be more like a kilometer, right? That's got to be more like a kilometer. Sergeant Angel. Love that movie. <clears throat> I love that movie. Okay. Angle on bow is going to be roughly 90 right. Thereabouts. 
I'm going to say distance is more like a kilometer. <clears throat> I have no idea what we're doing. Uh, reload tube two. Tube three is set. Okay. That guy's right there. Come on, let me see it for a second. Okay. Tube. Three. Which is tube four? Lump bow. More like this. Tube four. And back around to one. Reload. Okay. What's the timing on that? Approximately 42 seconds. It's been about 10, right? <clears throat> All right. Man, this is tough. I said about a kilometer. That might be right, might be wrong. All right, where's the other targets at? One's out there. One should be off in that direction somewhere, I think. Come on, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Come on, waves, give me a break. There she is. I think I would have hit her by now. I think. <laughs> this is tough. Tough, tough, tough. Maybe if I... Went like this. Change this down a bit. Fire again. Waiting for reloads. Uh, let's leave that alone for now so I don't get confused. Okay, um, I feel like we're gonna have to surface. I don't, I don't think I can do anything with the deck gun, mind you, but I'm pretty sure surfacing is gonna have to happen. Because I can't figure out where the targets are. This is hard. Alright, set course for three something, 310 maybe? Course for 310. <clears throat> um, let's go full speed. Batteries are getting low. Tanker at 254. Hey! Sounds like my last shot hit. I hit her, didn't kill her. Okay. The last shot worked. The last shot worked. Oh man, this is hard. What am I doing to myself? Is that a flare? That's a flare! Oh, that's so cool. You guys, there's a flare. I can just see. Flares going off. That's so neat. Battery levels at 60%. Thank you. God. No, 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 no. Another hit in these conditions. Well, thanks, my guy. I'm, I'm doing my bestest. I'm doing my very bestest. That guy doesn't look so good. He looked like he was on a very significant tilt there. Might have just been a wave, but... Ooh, no, he's listening hard. I could just get enough sight on him to figure out, like, the angle on bow picture. 
Okay, my heading is what did I say? Three something? Three one zero. And he's there. 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 So we're looking at close to getting close to a 90-ish, right? Maybe I should set course for 300. 300. All right. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> By the way, I didn't sign up for this. <clears throat> Yeah, that would be a rough go. I've been in some pretty bad seas, and then suddenly exploding would make things so much worse. Alright, we're gonna say angle on bow is gonna be uh, 90 right again. 90 right. Um, let's slow them down a little. More like 6. Ooh, looking at the stars, okay. Ooh, angle on bow is something like 120, 130 right now. Give it a minute. We are moving forward. Again, distance is a little... I don't really know what I'm looking at kind of a thing. Let's increase it closer to a kilometer, though. I feel like she's gotten away from me a little bit. Maybe even closer than that, I'm not sure. Alright, I'm going... Oh, damn it. I'm going this way. They're like here. Right? Where are you? Come on, let me see it. Uh, I think they're steering away. So let's, ooh, let's try, no, that, this is a good heading. This is not a bad heading, I think, from the glances I get at these damn targets. The glances I get. Whew, okay, come on, lights, lights, lights. My speed is full. Ahead, yeah, okay. Make sure I'm not backing up. That would be incredibly dumb. That's my Huckleberry, I think. I don't feel like I'm getting really much in the way of closer to them. Maybe I should set course for... 310? No, 300 seems fine. Just gotta wait for it to line up, I guess. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, that would that would be rough there, Stone. That would be rough. Um, yeah, I've been in a couple of different scenarios. Quite a few different scenarios. Let's say Sea State 8 is damn near biblical as far as I'm concerned. We went storm chasing off the uh, Grand Banks one year. Rough go. Alright, they're... I think they're going a lot faster than I am. I would put their speed closer to 7 now, honestly. I'm not sure we can catch them. Getting dizzy watching. I'm getting dizzy get, uh, getting dizzy doing, my guy. My god, this is rough. Just see it for 10 seconds in a row. That would be super cool. Um... Uh, the biggest boat I've been on is a uh, Canadian frigate, my guy. Look him up. They ain't uh, they ain't very long. Oh, uh, Wolf, thanks for the biddies, my guy. Much obliged. Let's head two nine four nine five two nine four. Since we're not catching up to them, I gotta try to bring the distance down a different way. Because it looks to me like we're still at like 
I don't know, 120, 130 degrees angle on bow. Something like that. Just used to being dwarfed by the U.S. Navy ships. That makes perfect sense to me, my guy. In all honesty, it really does. Housekeeping. Set to 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, <clears throat> I feel like he's outpacing me. And if we're doing seven and a half knots... Oh, he just turned his lights off. Let's try pot shots so we don't lose them. So, I think he's roughly a kilometer away. I think he's doing at least seven and a bit knots. And I think the angle on bow is like maybe 135, somewhere in there. Maybe 130. Let's try 130. He's here somewhere. <clears throat> I just got to shoot. Torpedo away. Sorry, folks. Starting to lose my voice there a little bit. What did it say for timing? 118. Okay, we're off by like 10, 15 seconds. That's fine. Switch to tube 3. Yeah, without the lights, it's even harder. Uh, frigates y'all have are only 32 foot longer than national security cutters. There you go. Yep. I believe you. I really do. I 100% believe you. Math is hard. Math is hard. If we're going to hit, it'll be around the one minute mark, I think. But honestly, I've basically lost sight of him at this point. There's one there. That might have been the guy I shot at, to tell you the truth. But yeah, I've lost all all concept of where they might be now. That's that guy. I think he's heading away. Um, course is 290, right? Let's make it 290. That's somebody there. Alright, by my estimation, estimation, we should have hit if we were going to hit. I think they're just outpacing me. I think it's they're just going faster than I am. That's my feeling on the matter, anyway. This was... 121. Yeah. Going with a miss on that one, people. Which, honestly, I'm not super surprised, because... You know, there's this all happening. Alright, so batteries are basically uh, halfway down or better. Um, my feeling on the matter is... Yeah, we're down to two and a half. We're gonna have to surface. So let's go ahead and surface the boat. And maybe we can try to sort something out on the surface. Uh, I really don't know. Surface the boat. Alright. Holding on... Depth. Got to switch over to diesels. Gonna have to charge the compressors. All right, good there. Diesel engines. Diesel swap. Maximum go. Maximum go. Gonna need compressed air. So the deck gun is probably out of the question. Uh, maybe we can do something interesting with torpedoes here on the surface. I'm not sure. If I can ever find them again, that is. Should be... Somewhere in this area. There's one. Uh, let's set course 2-6 something. Set course to six and change. Um, are my batteries charging on their own? Don't believe they are. Charge batteries. All right, batteries are charging. 
Okay. It's our speed. Speed is dropping because we're charging batteries. We understand that. I wonder at what point it levels out. Or does it, like, kill all my speed altogether? I don't know. might kill all my speed altogether. We're doing five, four knots, leveling out, sort of, three knots, two knots, wow. Um, okay. Well, we're certainly not going to catch them basically doing zero. We're doing a knot right now, and that's dropping. Oh, well, got to charge the batteries. I mean, that's a thing, right? Just keep bearing in mind that they're on a course of roughly 240. Jesus, this is tough. This war thing is really difficult, you guys. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but uh, it's pretty rough. Just barely make that guy out there. Right there. And speed is now zero. Okay. Well, the batteries are going to have to sit at half for, for the time being, because I'm going to lose this convoy in the dark, and once they're gone, they're gone. Once they're gone, they're gone. <clears throat> Let me know when there's a war with no bloodshed and I'm your man. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I get it. Okay, so that ship is there. Two, three, eight. Two, two, zero will be my course. Ugh. Just finish one, the Whiskey War? Is that a thing? I've never heard of that thing. Certainly never heard of that thing. Man, oh man. This is rough. This is rough. Reload tube two. We should be more or less running up the tailpipe of these guys, if I can ever find them again. May have lost them, which is irritating. Oh, hang on. There she is. There, at uh, 248. Sort of heading. <clears throat> Make course 260. 260. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, swap this to tube 1 just in case I need it. Hans Island. True. That is the Whiskey War. We haven't won it, though. I don't, I don't think it's... Unless I missed something in the news. I didn't know it was over. Right there. I wonder, can we try a torpedo? It's awfully far away and at a super crappy angle. Maybe. Maybe if we get close enough. Whoa! She changed course on me. Uh, set course 230. She may have... I, I would say she detected me, but she's got no lights on or anything. Wouldn't that be... the first thing they would do, I would guess? Yeah, change course on me in a big way. Now we're detected, I think. 
That's okay. Two, three, zero. Come on. I wonder. I wonder. That heading. They're on that heading. Could I get a torpedo away here? Looking at... 100 and change? About right? Maybe like that? Set to minimums. Speed lower down to like more like 6. Torpedo away. Oh, tube two. What was the tr uh, time on that? 20 seconds? She's probably farther away than I think she is, though. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, I can imagine that would be strange, yeah. Definitely should have hit it by now if we were going to hit it. That's okay. That's okay. It's a learning process. <gasps> no! <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. Thank you kindly for an absolute shot in the dark. I'm fairly pleased with it, to tell you the truth. Apparently, she's gone. She's setting up flares. Got another ship at... Oh, over there. Um, something tells me I want to change course here, I think. She's going to hit me. I think she's going to hit me. Unless we can steer out. Goodbye, my friend. Okay. Make course z 247. 247 thereabouts. We gotta try to get towards this fella. Yeah, okay. Slow down. Half speed. Okay. Oh my god, they're right beside each other. They're both right there. Angle on bow. Battery level's at 70%. Damn it, why aren't we on diesels? Diesels. Diesels, you absolute tits. Diesels. Yes, I don't know. Anyway. Um... Angle on bow is like, <clears throat> while they're turning, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it was flares. I don't think they're shooting at me. All right, make course, um, 300. Course 300. Angle on bow is not good to go just yet. Distance to target is basically minimums. More or less, but if I shoot at this guy, I'd have a better time. We might miss and hit the other one, so let's say... I don't know. Let's say... Am I heading at 300? Yes. 300? Yes. Okay. We're continuing to turn away, I think. No, we should be okay. Um, okay, more hip shots. Uh, approximately... I don't know. Can't picture it in my head. Like that. Tube 2 is ready. Okay. Alright, let's, um... 
Let's decrease the speed a little. Six. Two, three. Okay. Let's, um... Switch to tube four. Start reloading. And what am I running the timer for? Why did I do that? I don't know. Full speed. Damn it. Whew. Set course. No, of course should be okay. Maybe. Stop moving. Set course 310, maybe? Or 310. Ugh, sorry this is so hard to follow, people. Uh, my eyes are exploding, essentially. Continuing to turn away. Yes. Yes, they are. Um, 320. Well, thanks, my guy. Okay, we're going to try a shot here. I'm out of torpedoes until the reload finishes. We're about a minute and a half out. Minute and a half out from reload. Oh, that's either a shot or a flare. Could be both, to tell you the truth. Maybe they are shooting at me. Whoa! Okay. Gotta change my direction here to uh, 2928 something. There. Um, I gotta try to get on the deck gun, I think. Yeah, pretty sure I gotta tr try to get on the deck gun. I think they're shooting at me. Whoa, water in the bilge. That's a problem. Go down. Go down! Turn it on, Jesus. Turn that off while I'm thinking about it. Hey Rob, what's going on? Yeah, we got a storm, my guy. It's a rough go. Not having the best fun. Not having the best fun. Jesus, we just got hit. Whoa. I have no idea what's going on. Pretty sure we just took a shot. Fuck! Oh my god. Go down the ladder! Can't see what I'm looking at. There we go. Come on. Come on. Can't see. Can't see. Can't see. Can't see. Come on. Don't know if I'm hitting or not. I can only see it for a half instant through the wave. No idea. They got me. They got me. They got me, my guy. Oh, man, that was rough. That was rough. Wow. Oh my god, we were less than 4,000 tons out. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, took down two boats out of four. Um, really bad torpedo hit ratio. Tell you the truth, I'm amazed we hit anything at all. Yep, they were shooting at me. Um, wow, okay.
That was tough. That was tough. Okay. Wow. 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 And that brings us, everybody, to the end of tonight's extravaganza. I think that is going to be a, a good spot, being dead and all. Or we should probably give up the ghost. That's a tough mission. That is a tough, tough mission. Especially for, you know, I would consider myself maybe, maybe if not a beginner, but in, maybe an intermediate at best. And they took me down. Took me down. Damn, damn merchants blowed me all up. I'm super dead now. Great at U-boats, better than KSP. I'm better at most things in KSP. I'm better at um, uh, uh, flying, like with my arms as wings, than I am at KSP, my guy. So that's not hard to do. That's not super difficult. Uh, listen, everybody, uh, thanks so very kindly for hanging out with me on a Tuesday evening. Much obliged, much obliged. There's Be All My Socials. Go ahead and hit me up on one, if not all of them. And if you're not a member of the Discord, come on by. Come on in. Maybe we'll play some Wolfpack together. You never know. You never know. Came for the end. Sorry, my dude. You get the... Everybody gets the same uh, The same alerts. Everybody gets the, gets the same alerts. It's, it is what it is, you know? I understand that you can't be just sitting at your computer waiting for me to jump into a game, but, you know, uh, at, at the end of the day, there's only so much I can do, right? Yeah, so this was fun. Uh, I'm getting the hang of Wolfpack. I'd like to get to the point where I can play it with other people a lot. My concern is with Wolfpack is trying to stream it with other people on board. Um, and the reason I say that is I'm going to be trying to talk to them. I'm going to be trying to talk to you guys. I'm going to be hearing alerts and stuff go off and trying to figure out what I'm doing with ships and stuff. I just don't know. I don't know if I can stream it. I might be able to record it, but I don't. I just think I'd be too overwhelmed trying to stream it. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's so much going on. I'm not really good at that anymore, to tell you the truth. So, yeah, uh, that would that would be a big concern of mine. Maybe. You never know. Um, you know, I'm not saying it could never happen in the future, but I, I, I'm not sure I see a way to make it work currently the way I do stream as a multiplayer. But, again, the future is everybody else's business. Yeah. Try it out. Take a shot. I mean, you never know. You never know. It might be 100% fine. I might be hyping myself up for nothing. And uh, need some military discipline? No, no, no. You only have that in like the first like three years of service. After that, it just, it just goes out the window. That's pretty much how that goes. All right, folks. Listen, won't be a long goodbye. Uh, my back teeth are kind of floating. And, uh, you know, I was getting all hyped up with uh, all the shooty, shooty, bang, bang stuff there at the end. And I uh, got to go calm down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All right, folks, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I have been Lightly Salted. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.